Hey what's up guys, it's Kazooie here and welcome to episode 57 of Skilling to Glory and we're gonna start today's episode off by applying a healing card to Kelvin and also a contract item to our manager because he was running out of them and uh, after that we go into the first game of the episode where we actually come up against a subscriber and I actually know this guy pretty well as well so it was gonna be a fun game but uh, we getting started off with our mirror as you can see with a couple skill moves we go with a back heel pass to Fido Martinez out on the wing once again we go with a few skill moves there as you can see a lovely fake drag back in between the two defenders we go through we go with a fake bone to a blank hop to a volley we try out a shot but a very good save there from a scorekeeper then the 16th minute we pass it off to Enzo Perez we try out a long shot and we actually score from it as well the final goal that we had to score and that means that we have completed all the challenges which is absolutely awesome then the 26th minute he gets a shot on goal there as well with I do believe Daniel Sturridge but a very good save there from my goalkeeper then the 36th minute once again Enzo Perez on the ball we pass it off to Riascos where we pull off a few skill moves we get past his defender we we try the shot with his weak foot, but a very good save there from his goalkeeper once again. Then the 38th minute, he goes through here with Samuel Eto. I couldn't catch up there with Armero, and he almost kept past my goalkeeper. But in the end, we managed to clear it away with Armero, the pacey left back. Then uh, just before half time, in the 34th minute, we have uh, Jackson Martinez here on the ball. Well, we go with a few skills. We got a little bit lucky as well. We try the shot with his weak foot, but we do hit the post. And then from the rebound, it is Riascos with the header, but he was offside, unfortunately. Then uh, we move it into the second half. It's straight away Kelvin with the skill moves as you can see straight away from kickoff going on a lovely run we try the shot from quite some distance but an easy save there from his goalkeeper and the 57th minute he has the ball with Andre Schurl he got a little bit lucky he tries out a shot with his right foot hits the post and then from the rebound he makes it 1-1 to get him back into the game then the 84th minute we play a through ball here to Riasso so we go with two Ronaldo chops to it to create some space we try the shot at the near post but his goalkeeper saves it and uh, yeah that is pretty much how the game ended we went into extra time because the game ended in a draw obviously and uh, in the 99th minute we have the ball with Kelvin we cut in with a scoop turn we try the finesse shot and we do make it 2-1 and uh, that was pretty much the end of the game so well, we won it with 2-1 a late goal there from Kelvin to give us a late winner but uh, as you can see from the stats as well we have most of the shots so I guess we uh, we deserve to win in the end but anyway we're going to move on to the skillers up because as you can see we have completed all the challenges with the final silver 5 star skiller that is Fidel Martinez as you can see so yeah that means that we're going to move on to the store and open the 3 packs that we of course do get as well and uh, once again we're going to open these uh, premium jumbo packs the team the season once and see what we do get and our first pack we do get Osvaldo the pacey left winger the Brazilian and also a decent left back there from Galatasaray so uh, we list those two players up we quick sold the other one and I uh, store the other items in the club and we also got a cheeky silver pack that we're going to open later on as well then uh, we move on to the second pack and we do get Zabaleta and we actually do get some decent players in this pack as you can see Zabaleta there the right back from Manchester City Biabiani as well and also the upgraded version of Daniel Sturridge who has been amazing this season or last season because the season has finished now for uh, for Liverpool so uh, yeah that was a pretty decent pack I would say then uh, we're gonna move on to the final team this season pack and we do get Benya there from Atletico Bilbao who was a uh, team this season I think last year but um yeah we list him up we quick sold the other players and store the other items in a club and then we're gonna move on to the final pack the free silver pack that we also got and uh, in this pack we actually do get a, a pretty decent player that as you can see Marshall the goalkeeper from Cardiff City who actually goes for something I think for around 2k which is uh, which is pretty nice yeah we quick sold the other players store the other items in a club and we're gonna move on to the skillers up because we also got a new five star skill on there's the first gold one that is Moreno the Colombian as you can see so uh, the challenges that we do have to complete this time are win five games in a row um, score five skill goals score a hat trick with Moreno uh, the fourth one is beat the goalkeeper before scoring twice and that doesn't mean that we have to get past him and then get past him again because uh, as you can see there is a little counter so we just have to get past him twice um, basically and uh, the final one is score seven goals with Moreno so uh, those are pretty much the challenges that we do have to complete this time once we've done that we move on to the Moroccan uh, left winger place for Stoke City in the Premier League there's of course Asaidi but um, yeah we're gonna first sell on our old team as you can see apart from the five star skillers of course Fidel Martinez and Kelvin and uh, yeah after that we're gonna build a complete new team around our new five star skiller that's of course Moreno the only non-rare five star skiller that is this year on ultimate team and uh, the formation that I decided to go with is the 4 triple 2 formation and of course we're going to use a few a few 5 star skillers that we have used before as well with, uh, with the likes of Ortega plays in the exact same league as Moreno not for the exact same club but um, yeah he plays in the same league the Liga Postabon the Colombian league and um, yeah we're going to link him up with Moreno of course because he does get a good chemistry link with him which is pretty nice still he's not really my favorite silver 5 star skiller because his finishing is pretty poor but uh, yeah you can expect that when he's only 68 rated and also a 
sent for attacking mid. But um, yeah, this is pretty much the team uh, on goal. We do have Handanovic, in my opinion, a very, very good goalkeeper this year on Ultimate Team. And then uh, two centre backs, we'd have Zapata from AC Milan and also Juan Jesus from Inter Milan. And the right back, second in form, a Maicon. Only picked him up for like 26k, which is pretty cheap. Uh, left back, Armeo with a pacey left back. Uh, the centre mids, we'd have Guarin with an amazing long shot and Nilton, who also has an amazing long shot. So uh, hopefully, we can score a few long shots with those guys. Then in the right centre attacking mid, Michael Leite with of course the 5 star skill moves. Then on the other side Ortiga, we already spoke about him of course with the 5 star skill moves as well. And then the striker, the main man of this team, Moreno as well with the 5 star skill moves. On the other side uh, Wallison and uh, as you can see here we picked him up for 1.1k. Um, that was because his default position is a centre forward. So if you like to use him as a striker, you can maybe use him as a centre forward. But um, yeah I decided to pick him up as a striker anyway because um, yeah he wasn't really that expensive. So yeah that is pretty much a team like I said uh, we also gonna apply a few chemistry styles as you can see to the center backs the sentinel one and the glove on Duhan Danovic our goalkeeper so um yeah we go to our first game once again an online single match and we do come up against this team a Liga PVA side with two uh, team of the season players in his squad as well and, uh, it's my opponent game the game started he plays a through ball and then I don't know what Juan Jesus was doing I decide to or I want to head it to my goalkeeper but for some reason he just messes up completely and yeah we give away a stupid goal and as you can see from the gameplay it was a little bit laggy as well so it was a little bit difficult to pull off some skill moves but we do get a shot in here with Moreno but a good save there from his goalkeeper then we move it into the 77th minute in the second half once again the game was pretty laggy so I decided to go for a cross we get our head onto it with Moreno but after some clumsy stuff we do pick up a corner and so of course our super sub Wallison once again with the header to make it 1-1 and get us back into the game then the 80th minute we have the ball with Mike and we play a through ball here to Moreno where we go through is defender missed time to tackle there we go through we try out the volley and we do make it 2-1 to give us a lead and pick up our first goal there with Moreno then a couple minutes later we play a through ball here to Wally so well we get a little bit lucky because his defender messed up he kind of tripped over over himself I guess then we go through with Wallace and we go with a chip shot and we do put it into the far corner well we make it 3-1 and uh, that is pretty much how the game ended so well we got a little bit lucky in the variant we managed to score three quick goals which uh, managed to give us the win in the variant so yeah as you can see we managed to grab ourselves one when we scored one goal with Moreno and uh, yeah that is pretty much it for the challenges so far so uh, hopefully we can do a whole lot better in the next episode which most likely will be out tomorrow but um yeah guys that is pretty much it hope you enjoyed it if you did then make sure to leave a like would be very much appreciated and uh, if you can hit a thousand likes that would be absolutely awesome so uh thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you guys later bye bye